South African choreographer Gregory Makoma and his contemporary dance company Vuyani Dance Theater performed for the first time at the Kennedy Center in Washington as part of the company's tour in the U.S. with the spectacle Sion, Requiem of Ravel's Bolero. Gregory Makoma's work has been internationally recognized for combining the songs and dance routines of his homeland using long-standing practices of Zulu, Kosa, and Sutu people to tell contemporary stories. When I was thinking about creating Sion as a requiem of Ravel's Bolero, I was aware that the, the music was never created as a, as a requiem, as a lament. But I was also inquisitive in terms of how uh, what will happen if I take this music and, and create a, a score that was speaking to us as Africans? So I had focused with the composer and Tantra Mashlangu, we focused on Isitka Tamiya, which is a South African um, singing and dancing. It's a form which was created as a response to our colonial oppression. Death and grief are the focus of the presentation. But the real message behind Sion is the transformation of those emotions associated with the loss of life into hope and prevail of humanity. Set in a cemetery, the dance is inspired by the character Toloki, a professional mourner, created by South African writer Zeik Sunda in his novels Ways of Dying and Sion. When Zeik was writing this, this book, it was really during our transition in our political history in our country and we were entering into the democratic dispensation of our country. So people were dying. There was a lot of, of black on black violence and people were also dying of HIV and AIDS. Um, there were so, many, so much of killings that were happening around us as a nation. And, though, and I felt we were turned into professional mourners, like Doloki, the character. Viewers could relate the power message of Makoba's dance not only to the history of South Africa, but the connection to the African Americans. There is a connection to history, the history of African Americans here in the U.S. and how they bonded together to make it through tough times. So it was a symbolism of that um, bond and how they worked together and uh, in a sense, danced together and celebrated together and cried together and mourned together. The performance earned a standing ovation at the Eisenhower Theater of the Kennedy Center. Attendee Verdell Carter explained how she enjoyed the show so much, she came back the next night. It was so exceptional that I came back to see it twice. It was the dance, the tap, the music, um, the spirit that moved me so much and I could see it moved everybody else in the audience. Makoba is ready to take more stages worldwide, but not without bringing his own culture and traditions with him. Some people said to me, you know, you, you, you must be um, living the American dream. And I say, it's, it's not the American dream, but it is a South African dream to, to break barriers and to take our own disadvantages and, take the, and change them into advantages. After performing in New York and Washington, D.C., the company will travel to Connecticut and Massachusetts before heading back to South Africa. Barbara Santos, VOA News, Washington. Oh.